Okay, so I'm going to unbox the Goonies here. This is one of my favourite ever films, and I loved it as a child. So I'm going to open it and hopefully see what's inside and find it enjoyable. I'm going to try and play it tonight as well and see what it's like. So on the back you can see the map and some of the pieces. So I'm going to have a tough to open. Then the other things I've just opened before. You can see the Fratellis in the top left and the miniatures of like um, some of the characters. One-Eyed Willie's there and Chunk I think and I think Data and some of the other characters. Hopefully I'll get in to see what they actually look like now and not spoil it too much for myself by looking at the pictures on the back. Uh, hopefully it slots in there as well, fingers crossed. I want to do a bit of hey you guys in when I get them. And then uh, it says, don't you realise the next time you see Sky it'll be over another town. The next time you take a test it'll be some other school. Uh, our parents, they want the best of stuff for us. But right now they've got to do what's right for them because it's their time. Their time up there. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. The famous line from Mikey or Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings, if you recognise the actor and his older years. But there's some boards in here. Looks like the map is in here. And we'll open that up in a second, if I can. And get the knife in there to actually do it. Let's see what else is under the map. Might be a struggle to get this on the actual camera because the camera won't zoom out far enough. And I've got it on a stand right now, but you can take a sample of what the pictures look like. These, I guess, are rooms and caverns and stuff. Or maybe the areas you have to explore underneath where the goonies go. The Goondocks Master, it says at the bottom. And then there's other pictures on the back of the house and the actual village and then a bit of the uh, the bike that Brandon steals and rides down the hill which is a funky and cool addition oh not the camera oh inside the box also is really cool this cool red color with loads of bits of old images and like a pirate skull here and all sorts of things keys all sorts of cool bits from the actual film that you may recognize so like the jersey that one of them may have worn and data's um things and a backpack and a lamp and some smashed glasses that's a really cool touch just extra bits of stuff there from the film that you may recognize here's a kind of piratey map thing I'm not really sure what this is used for but it looks great and on the back it's got kind of a player aid thing for reference Goonies round GM round and token reference so I'm assuming this will stand up as a player reference, but also on the other side it's got a map, which is really neat. They didn't need to do that. It looks like you put a lot of effort into the components here, straight away. Here's an adventure guide. Here are the instructions. So two booklets instead of one, which sometimes can be annoying, but sometimes can be useful for quick reference. Oh, plenty of punch board here as well, which I'm not going to fully open up now, but there's pieces here and there's character pieces there like Merfield Warrior, Skeleton Bombardier, Bat Swarm, Treasures, there's another Skeleton Bombardier, Hearts, so obviously your health. And on the other side we've got coins, some kind of timer, um, skulls, another location type thing, trapped tokens. Um, these all look really cool and really well made. Here's some character cards. So Mikey's one of them. Open this up so I can get them out. He's got different strength, dexterity, and search skills, as well as his health points told to us and his wishes, and like his speech or pirate law. Then his mouth. Mouth is arguably the best character in the film. It's really cheeky, and uh, he also makes a great appearance in the Lost Boys film, which is an amazing film. Chunk is also hilarious, and the Truffle Shuffle is what he's best known for, most probably. Data with his awesome tech. Slot is also amazing and super strong. So his health is eight, which means he's really strong, I guess. And then the Fratellis who are the enemies. And I guess One-Eyed Willy will be also an enemy. And then, oh, giant octopus. But don't recognize that from the film. Maybe that's added in just for extra detail. And then there's some cards. And some Goonies rounds. Um, 
kind of player aid here telling you how the round works as well the GM cards and stuff all in there these dice are really nice blue dice with some skulls on and some bones a double bone there and some blank ones as well so I'll have to figure out what they're for later these are the character minis orange there you can see slot red I can't quite see who that is it looks to be inside the octopus so that could be one-eyed willy maybe oh no there's one-eyed willy the white piece here the red piece i can't really tell what that is yet let's open it up and see this is the red piece looks like one of the fratellis maybe potentially one of the older ones and then there's some of the characters in here as well which looks really decent and then there's the red dice because you've got skulls on and bones again but only single bones and single skulls some standy things for the card pieces i need to punch and some green dice which are also similar double bones single bones and skulls on but as you can see these red dice are six-sided dice the green dice look like they might be 12 sided and the blue ones these are eight sided dice so they've got different sizes and different probabilities on them so i need to work out what they're for but as for now that's everything in there i think i'll definitely be trying to play a slot the orange guy here because he's my favorite character most probably in the film either him or mouth if mouth's one of them but yeah that's everything thanks for watching see you next time